let's go ahead and start with a ball of clay. And this one here, I'm gonna make about the size of a, a golf ball. Okay, so I've got my pinch pot. So I'm gonna make like the bottom lip on here and I'm just gonna take a little piece of clay and roll it into a coil. So I've got a coil right here. And I can roll it on my canvas here if I want to. I can roll it between my hands. Depends on what you wanna do. Okay, and then I'm going to make down here, I'm just gonna make a little part of the mouth. Okay, I'm going to make it kind of low. I'm just going to put it right on there. If your clay is dry, take your tool and get a little bit of water and kind of put it in here. Uh, that will help. Sometimes what I'll do is I will use slip and I'll put slip in there. If it's a big piece that I have to um, put on there, I'll make a little slip out of clay and, um, you know, by just adding water and I'll... Um, I'll put that on there, but sometimes if it's a little piece and my clay is really plastic, I'll just take a little bit of water and put it on here, and that usually is enough to do that. Okay, so now I want to make a, a piece on here like this. You see how I'm doing that? I made a bigger coil and I laid it across like this. Again, um, you may want to get either a little bit of slip, you can make a little bit of slip if you want, or you can get a little bit of water and lay a little bit of water in there and that will help. Sometimes, like I said, when I'm doing really little pieces, I don't slip and score it um, if it's still plastic. Okay, I don't worry about that if it's still plastic. And I'll just put a little bit of water on there and it'll be fine. Okay, so now that I've got that on there, I've just barely put it on there. What I wanna do is I wanna blend this in to the face. Now we can do this because it's plastic. If this were leather hard, it would be really tough to, to blend this in and, and have it stay. You might be able to blend it in for a little while, but it probably pops off. Okay. So you see that I started to blend that in. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. I'm going to start to blend this in. And you don't have to use this tool here. You could use any one of your tools probably would blend fine. Okay, you can use your finger sometimes just to blend it, you know, that works better. And I think what you do is you just try whatever works. And if you find something that works well for you, then, then do it. Okay. So I'm starting to work on my mouth right there. I'm going to blend this in because I don't want it to look like, I want it to look like it sticks up some, but I don't want it to look like it's a separate piece. I want to make it look like it's a part, you know, it, it's a part of the mouth. It's not like a separate thing that's stuck on there. So work on blending that in. Try some different tools and see what works for you. Your clay might be a little soft, but that's okay. You know, you'll be bending it. You'll just have to bend it back in place when you're, when you're ready. Okay. And if you want to open up the mouth a little bit more, just push it down. Like mine kind of closed up a little bit. So I'll just push it down so it's a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, I also probably want to make this a little bit sharper just because I think it would look better. So I'm going to get my knife and kind of cut in there and blend that away. Got to make it more of a point. I mean, you guys can have to decide on yours what you want it to look like. So I'm going to take my knife in here and I'm just going to cut a little bit away. I'm going to press this in a little bit and I just have to work this um, until I get it the way I think it should look. And again, I'm going to continue to blend it. If it gets a little dry, add a little water to it. Don't try to smooth it with the water. Just use it to rehydrate it because it's a little dry.
Okay, for now, that's probably okay. You can see I'm starting to get a mouth in there. Now, if I wanted to, I could take my tool and I could press in the pinch pot in here and make it a little bit deeper if I wanted to do that so it doesn't stick out so much. But I could also do some, you know, cool things with this. If I want to put some sharp teeth coming out of here, I could easily make, take a little piece of clay and make a little coil and make some sharp teeth. You want to do that, kind of make like a, more of a, I don't know, a piranha or a shark or something. I mean, I could make teeth that come out of here. You see how I do that? And again, to stick this on there, what I would do is I would get a little bit of water. I mean, slip is good, but this is moist enough that I probably could get a little water and stick these teeth on here and blend them in. I want to press them in there really good and blend them in because if I don't press them in there good, they're going to pop off. Okay. So if I wanted to make some little teeth, I could make teeth all the way across here if I wanted to. Okay, so I want to make a coil for my kind of my like um, eyelid. And I'm going to get this wet and just come over here. Okay, so I have to decide how I want my eye to be. Do I want it to be down like this? Does that seem like a good like eyelid, eyebrow? Depending on how I'm, if it's, I mean, if mine's supposed to be like a scary shark head um, you know it might look more like this okay and what I can do is if I'm not sure what I want I could kind of place them there and get like an idea of maybe what I want you know maybe I want it to look kind of like this I don't know I have to kind of see if you know and if I don't like it, if I'm, I'm like, no, this is this is not it, you know, I can just scrape this right off. It's still plastic, and I can scrape this right off of here and um, just start again. You don't have to destroy the pinch pot to do that. Mr. Yeah. Taylor's trying to get in. Oh, okay. Um, let me see here. Thank you for telling me because when I'm working, I don't even look up at the screen. So um, I can continue to put this eyebrow on here. Again, if I decide that I don't like it, I look at it and I'm like, no. Um, and that's perfectly okay. I can just take it off. I can just scrape it off here and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Again, if your stuff gets a little dry, get it wet. And you could just try some things. Like I said, if you don't like it, just scrape it off and start again. Try something different. Okay? So, I got some kind of bug eyes going here. Again, on these little pieces that are kind of dry, I'm, I'm going to make them a little bit wet. You don't want to put like dry clay on here because it won't attach and then you got an issue. And then I'm just going to blend this down. And this will take some time to do a good job on this. Okay, so you see I've got kind of a, a fish head going now. It's kind of an evil looking one. 
which because of my um, my big old teeth that I've started, you know, maybe that's okay, you know. Um, but if I decide that I don't want it, I'm like, oh, this is not any good. All I have to do is take my knife or any of the tools and just cut it right off of there. See, I can just cut it right off and then I can just blend it out and start again. So I say, I don't like that. You know, sometimes you can just scrape it off. Sometimes you have to actually cut it off. That's okay. So I decided, well, I don't like that. I don't like the way that's looking. That's okay. Now I just have to scrape it off, kind of smooth it out again. You know, maybe I have to do a little bit more scraping. Okay, and then I'm back to where I was. Okay, so you kind of see what I got going here. Um, now, what if you want to make something with a big mouth that's open? How are we gonna do that? Again, I'm gonna start with my pinch pot. So I made a quick pinch pot here, and if I want to open up the mouth, here's how I would have to do it. First of all, what you might want to do is you might want to figure out, and I've never made one with a big mouth like this, you might want to figure out where it should be opened. So maybe I just draw on here where I want to open up the mouth. So this is my first one I've ever done, so I really don't know how I want to do it. A big open mouth kind of bass like okay I'm gonna go ahead and cut in this remember if you're using a knife please be careful don't do anything silly like cut yourself okay just take it slow and don't put your hands in front of it okay so I, if I've opened up the mouth like this um, the next thing you might want to do is you might want to put like some kind of like lips on the fish and you could do that a couple different ways um, one way you, you could add a coil to the outside you could build it up it's called a additive technique because you're adding clay okay and I got this wet so I could build coils on here and build up these lips And again, this takes time. You know, if you guys knock this out in just like 10 minutes, it's probably not any good. You know, usually I have the students spend a whole class period, sometimes more, on the fish head because um, to do a good job, you have to take the time it takes to do a good job. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to blend this together. And again, I can use many of the tools. There's many tools you can use to blend it together, whichever one you feel most comfortable with. It's fine. In this case here, I'm just going to show you I'm going to use the knife to blend it together. You don't have to do that, especially if you're using like a big old sharp knife, which I don't suggest you do. I suggest you get one of these little cheap ones from the dollar store that are not very sharp. They can still cut you, so be careful, but they work really good for this. Okay. So I'm starting to kind of blend this in here and making these lips on here. And again, that's something you're just going to have to try and see what you can do. You may, it may look different from mine, and that's perfectly fine. It's, it's supposed to. You're the artist. You figure out how do you want to make it look.
So let's assume you want a big open mouth fish like this, and you're going to put their eyes up here, and that's it's perfectly fine. But there's no place to put the hole in there. So here's how you have to do that. You have to get some clay, and you have to put something to support it on the inside. Now, one way you could do it is you can go on the inside and you could put a coil across from one side to the other that you could um, attach the string to. So if you look right here, I'm just kind of putting this coil in here across the mouth. And you might have to make sure that you, you might have to use slip on this, make a little slip out of some clay. And to make a little slip, all you got to do is get a little bit of clay and get it wet. You can make it like in a little dish or something. And... Um, you know, you could put it between the pieces. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting this piece in here and I'm just getting it wet a little bit, kind of making some slip in here as I go. So, okay, so this is only if you have an open mouth fish because you have to have something to tie your string onto. And that's what we're going to use on in the inside. Now, someone clever could make like a cool like hook you know like a like they caught the fish you know what I'm saying that would be kind of cool if you could do that but it'd have to be if you're making out of clay it'd have to be thick because it's going to hold up the whole um fish okay so we have to make sure we have to make sure it's really blended in here really good okay we got to go because class is about over so i will see you guys next time and um Remember, get all nine pinch pots done and start on your head. We'll work on the head and the tail next time. Don't